I did my mentorship at Open MRI and Imaging of Gainesville, and there they have radiologists, and we do ultrasounds, CAT scans, and MRIs. But what is radiology? Radiology allows you to look inside the body and it allows doctors to diagnose patients and give the treatment quicker than they did before. I did my project on the past, present, and future of radiology, so we'll start with the past. X-rays were discovered on November 8, 1895 by Wilhelm Conrad Röntgen. He is experimenting with vacuum tubes and he discovered that when he was experimenting with the gas, a screen on the other side of the table would light up every time he made sparks in the tube. He tried to put cards in the way to block the rays, but it wouldn't work. So he tried thin metals like aluminum and copper, but they didn't work either. When he was trying to move a piece of lead near the screen, he discovered that he could see his bones and his hand move across the screen. That is when he discovered the x-ray by an accident. About six weeks later, Rontgen took his wife Bertha into the lab and took an x-ray of her hand and it showed her bones in her wedding ring. And that became known as the first x-ray. Ian Donald is said to be the founder of the modern day ultrasound technology. He was a Scottish physician and he pioneered the use of ultrasound for diagnosis in medicine. Throughout his life he was interested in ships and he built ships when he was younger and he had seen ultrasound technology in the shipyards. So he published an article called The Investigation of Abdominal Masses by Pulse Ultrasound in the medical journal The Lancet, which revealed ultrasound to the world, and today it's one of the most common forms of radiology. CAT scans are completed with x-rays and computing, and during the 1930s when tomography was being developed, um, physicians could begin to see the human body in cross sections. On October 1st, 1971, in London, England, the first clinical CT scan on a patient was completed. The patient was thought to have a frontal lobe tumor and was scanned. And then when the operating doctor operated on the patient, he said that the picture looked exactly like the CAT scan. Today, scanners are much more efficient and they can complete the scans quicker than they could before. Raymond V. Domitian is known as the inventor of the MRI scanner. He did research of sodium and potassium in living cells and experimented with nuclear magnetic resonance. So he proposed the first MRI body scanner in 1969. He experimented on rats and discovered that there was a difference in the quality of the signals emitted by healthy and cancerous tissue which confirmed his idea of the MRI scanner. Though he was met with skepticism, he forged on and eventually completed the first MRI scan and it showed the heart, lungs, and chest wall. Oftentimes, scans are completed with contrast. In 1896, the first scan depicted arteries through contrast. They used bismuth, lead, and barium salts to develop the first angiogram, but it was of an amputated hand because these were not safe for human use. 35 years later, the first publications of these interventions on humans were published. In 1931, Dos Santos and Forsman described the first experience with arterial and angiography. The techniques were limited to the vascular system, but they gave the basis of knowledge for different contrast materials that are used today. Today, x-rays are very common. 
They are beams that can pass through your body and they're absorbed in different amounts depending on the density of the material. Very dense materials show up white, air shows up black, and fats and muscles show up as shades of gray. Contrast material can be used in x-rays and they're most commonly used to diagnose fractures, infections, arthritis, osteoporosis, and other bone diseases, but they can also show organs and lung conditions. And with contrast, they can show digestive tract problems and blocked blood vessels. Ultrasounds use sound waves to produce images and structures in the body. They're most commonly known for examining babies before they're born, but there are many other uses, such as diagnosing gallbladder disease, evaluating blood flow and tumors, and showing abnormalities in muscles and tendons. And they can also diagnose infections and cancers through tumors and stuff like that. The CT scans are a series of x-rays taken at different angles. And then the computer makes cross-sectional images of the body. CT scans can also be combined to make 3D images. And they're most commonly used to diagnose internal trauma, like internal bleeding. They can also diagnose bone injuries, infections, blood and cancer. They can help guide surgical procedures. MRIs use a magnetic field and radio waves to be able to see the tissues of the body. They show cross sections of the body like a slice of bread from a loaf. There are open and closed scanners. The open scanners are used for patients who are claustrophobic because it's not as close, but they're often less powerful so the images aren't as good. Doctors order MRIs for the brain and spinal cord most often, and they can be used to examine the heart, vessels, bones, and other organs of the body. Many scans require contrast to produce images used to diagnose the patients. Dyes are given to show certain parts of the scans and the images. They can be swallowed or they can be injected and it helps the radiologist focus on the certain part of the body that they're trying to diagnose. In the future, x-rays will have true color and they'll have greater detail than today. Um, for example, an image could show if a tumor is fatty or vascular. So a fatty tumor is benign, while a vascular one can be cancerous. So this could help doctors diagnose patients without even entering the body. And it could also provide greater detail in bone density scans which can help diagnose diseases like osteoporosis. This, these advancements would make the art of X-ray imaging more efficient and reliable, and it could help patients be healed quicker. Ultrasound machines will be smaller and more efficient, and they'll also have more room to store data. The probes can be smaller and they will be able to get better images of organs and this could allow doctors to perform biopsies and other invasive procedures while viewing the inside of the body with the ultrasound. It's also popular to research 3D ultrasounds so they'll likely become highly developed in the future. The ultrasound machine could also get small enough to be carried around into the field by paramedics so they could get a treatment and diagnose on site. Um, dual field source CTs are growing. This means that there are two different measurement systems that rotate together to acquire data more quickly. They'll allow for different tube voltages also, which means that they can determine different tissue types and provide information about the composition of the tissue being scanned. Also, breast CAT scans also show great potential. 
and they can go into areas further than normal mammography can. So they could be they could diagnose patients with more efficiency. MRI technology is constantly being improved upon. Um, so hospitals and doctors' offices are always upgrading their technology. The scanners are becoming faster, having a higher resolution, and becoming cheaper for patients. And the field strength is being researched today. It will help have higher resolution images and faster scanning times. So it, it allows patients to receive their care more efficiently. Also, MRI scanners and rooms have been modified so that patients can choose their own colors to be projected while they complete their scans and they can choose music. A lot of times, doctors' offices have iPads or iPods that let the patients choose what they want so it allows them to relax while they complete their scans. And new materials are always being researched for contrast. Every day, scientists are looking to different, more efficient materials used in radiology, and they're also looking for new ways and more efficient ways to implement the contrast. Contrast has come a long way from where it started, and there will be better advances in the future. My assistant question was, how has radiology adapted from the past to the future, and how will this and continuing progress in the field of radiology affect my future? Overall, radiology in every way has become faster and safer, more accurate and more efficient. And it has improved and allowed radiologists to diagnose patients faster and more accurately. But the technology is still growing. Even though the basics of the scans have been discovered and if the doctors know what they're doing, doctors still continue to look for better techniques and better ways to do things. So technology will always be changing. This affects my future because I will always have to learn the new advances in new technology. Anybody in the medical field needs to be prepared to continue learning throughout their career because the new technology and discoveries can affect the care of the patients and it's the worker's responsibility to stay up to date with the advances to ensure that their patients receive the care that they need. So overall technology will affect my future by constantly changing but it will allow me to help my patients in every way that I can quickly and efficiently.